Adam with Cali Motor TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome the BMW S1000XR up on the lift, ready for some modifications. Today's modification, we are working on the front steering damper on this bike. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and ring the bell notification to give you notifications of future content if you guys are interested in the BMW S1000XR. We also have a BMW S1000 Single R, the brand new 2022. We have a V2 in the collection. We have a Street Fighter in the collection. We have an HP2 Sport in the collection. So again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I work on all my own bikes here in the garage. And today we're gonna to be installing a brand new Hyper Pro adjustable steering damper. Now, I personally, I like a little stiffer steering. The reason is, is these high horsepower motorcycles, the front end tends to get a little bit light and well, it comes down and I don't really like that wiggle. So the Hyper Pro adjustable steering damper is gonna help fix that. Looks like a pretty simple install. Couple bolts come out, couple bolts go in, and you're all set. Um, if you guys are following the XR build, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, I will tell you, I do have a few modifications already done it. Um, let's go ahead and swing around and show you some things that I really haven't talked about and, and that I've put on. Some of the things are very simple installs and some of them I just didn't want to do a video on because, well, you guys know how much I love rear sets and installing them. This was actually a set of used rear sets. They look almost brand new. They were the HP, the original HP. Uh, I got them for like 600 bucks off of eBay. So I scored on that. I couldn't complain. But things like the Pugue uh, engine case covers, pretty simple installs, remove the bolts, put the bolts back in that they provide, you're ready to roll. Uh, I was working on an aero exhaust, which is down there, that is going back to aero because I think we are going to be done with aero. Uh, the quality of what they're producing now is just not what it used to be and I'm really upset with aero right now, so we won't get into that. Um, Last week, we did get new tires put on the bike, and I did do a chain and sprocket replacement. I didn't do a video because this garage was in shambles last week, so I really had to actually just get this on. It wasn't on the lift. I was doing it on the floor. It was kind of a pain in the butt, So, uh, but very nice, super light kit with the DID gold chain. Uh, it just kind of just transforms this bike, makes it look very very nice uh up here we have the weighted bar ends you guys have all uh basically said you need that now i didn't see too much vibration in this bike but uh, i went ahead and ordered them anyways i also ordered the mra windscreen which is very very easy to install so very simple and then uh well of course here we are at the steering damper so the steering damper is pretty easy there's two uh there's a i think it's a 14 millimeter up here and then a t45 here and this thing basically comes off and here is the new Hyper Pro adjustable damper with the steering kit for the s1000 XR and uh, you can see by the diagrams very simple to install so let's go ahead and get the chesty cam on and let's go ahead and get this install done real quick I would say you're probably looking at about 20 minutes it's nice that we've got the lift we can kind of get up underneath it but uh, I would say you're probably gonna just be about 20 minutes so let's see how well this modification goes and uh, I think it's a very beneficial modification especially if you like a little bit stiffer in the steering. So let's get the chesty cam on and get to work. All right, here's everything you guys need. So for tools, you're gonna need a socket and a T45 head uh, socket. And then you're gonna need a 13 and a 12 millimeter box wrench to get the, uh, the front end off first. And then we'll come back and work this. So let's go ahead and get the first off. So you guys will see up here uh, the on the left, you've got your top bolt, which is a 13 millimeter, and down below the bottom bolt is a 12 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things broken loose. All right, so once you have this bolt off, you'll see that basically we're loose here. So now we're gonna go into the bottom here with our T45, 
And this you're gonna have to be gentle with. Make sure that you've got good grip, good grasp, and break that thing loose. Usually they talk, lock tight them in really, really well. Now, I went ahead and actually broke this thing loose the other day just to see if it was bad, but pretty easy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this bolt completely out. All right, so with the stock steering damper removed, you're gonna go ahead, this is the bolt that came off the top, and you're going to be reutilizing these spacers. So this spacer here, the rubber spacer, and the bolt. So we're reutilizing these here, okay? This is what's going to hold the mount back in. So this will go through here and back in through here. And this is what's gonna obviously hold the damper in place. All right, so pretty simple. We're gonna slide the bracket onto the damper. So you're gonna be, let's see, we want the knob forward and we want the uh, eyelet to the left, and we want the bracket to the top, okay? So you're gonna go in like this, and then this is gonna utilize our normal bolt here, and then we're gonna use our little foam bushing and this bushing, and then this will be basically mounted right back up here. So let's go ahead and get this thing started, and this will screw back in. All right, so now on to mounting the eyelet. So you're gonna have a bolt, you're gonna have an O-ring, you're gonna have a spacer, a washer, and a nut, okay? Now, everything goes above the mounting on the eyelet. So this goes on the bottom under the eyelet, and then you go O-ring, spacer, washer, nut. So you're gonna take the bolt through the eyelet, and you're gonna go in O-ring, spacer, washer, and the nut. Once everything is lined up, that's when you're gonna secure this, the actual part. So this is still a little bit loose, but we wanna get everything mounted softly, and then we're gonna get, of course, pull that back around. There we go, we want this facing us. So this is our adjustment. And then we can lock it down here in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and lock this down, lock this down, lock this down. And then we'll tighten that up and we'll be all good to go. All right, and last but not least, now that everything's mounted up, we can go ahead and get this dial kind of nice and horizon and go ahead and get this snugged up so it doesn't move anymore. So you can see the... Uh, damper won't twist in the mount anymore. This is normal for it to move, right? That's designed to move like that. And then you've got this clicker here, which will give us more dampening adjustment. All right, well, there we have it. The new Hyper Pro steering damper, fully adjustable right here on the fly. Very nice. Um, love the black, love the gold. Very much ties in with the exhaust out here. Um, guys, super easy install. 30 minutes if you have no clue what you're doing and and if you can get that middle bolt out. Um, sometimes they lock tight them in. We actually had an S1000 single R uh, 2018 and I went to go change that uh, on Bogna's old bike and I couldn't get that um, I couldn't get that bolt out. It was locked tighted in so tight. So I was lucky enough to be able to get this one out. Hopefully we're going to get a uh, steering damper out on the 2022 BMW S1000 single R, but uh, very nice. So uh, let's get out on a quick little test ride. Just show you guys a little bit of the adjustability out on the road and um, see how it does, but easy install.